Now, we'll sequence through this, the Indian Ocean as well, and just exactly the same. So, each, so we'll just sequence through each of the models that I constructed by just simply removing each of these time stripes uh, away in succession until we have a complete continental crust at around about 52, 55% of the present Earth radius. Now, um, the Indian Ocean is also the basis of uh, plate tectonics. However, I should have I forgot to mention something in the previous one. This uh, forms a very uh, early basis of plate tectonics, but when you, you actually physically move each of those continents together, um, it's, the fit together on a, on a static radius Earth is not as accurate as it should be. Um, you can fit together South America against Africa, but then you're left with a, a great big V-shaped gore in the northern hemisphere. Similarly, you can fit North America to Europe and Africa, but you're left with a great big gore down in the, in the south. What they opt to do, now that this mapping is available, what plate tectonists do is fit Africa in against the, uh, um, the mid-ocean rift zone, and similarly, the Americas in against the central zone here. In order to make the continental uh, crust fit with the oceanic crust, they then fragment Europe away from Africa, uh, split it off, and similarly the Caribbean region split it up, off, open that up, so these, these continents are made to fit. And as you can see in this animation on a, an expanding Earth concept, there's no requirement to split the continents, arbitrarily split and fragment the continents. They just dock, 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 dock back in time and similarly forwards in time. In real life, of course, that'll be continuous spectrum of uh, models, but uh, 24 models, it tends to be a bit jumpy. Go back to the Indian Ocean. In, this, in the plate tectonics, they split uh, Asia and Europe uh, away from the Africa and Arabian Shield areas along the Himala Himalayas and uh, Alpine mountain chain. Uh, India is uh, separated as a, as a separate island continent. Uh, India is then fitted in against Madagascar and Australia in against India and, and, and um, Africa. In, the uh, what's called the Gondwanan configuration, Gondwana supercontinent. You may or may not have heard of Gondwana. Um, just activate that. On an expanding Earth, again, we're just simply taking that that uh, that um, uh, volcanic material, the oceanic volcanic material, away in sequence and refitting them back together in a smaller radius Earth. And there's no need to fragment the continents or um, invoke these hypothetical um, drifting continents. India on a plate tectonics is supposedly uh, travels north and crashes into Asia to form the Himalayas. And this is, as you just saw, seen, this is totally unnecessary. Now, as I previously mentioned, all of this material, this new material formed as the Indian and Atlantic Ocean open up, must be disposed of elsewhere, uh, elsewhere in the Pacific Ocean to maintain a static radius Earth. And this is the basis of plate tectonics. This new mapping has only been available since uh, early 90s, and plate tectonics was invented prior to this mapping, and they basically did not know uh, anything about this mapping. So here we have a dilemma. All of this vast amount of new material is supposedly being consumed in the Pacific Ocean, right where in the Pacific Ocean, right where there is an even bigger mid-ocean rift zone, an even bigger zone of new material being absorbed from the from the mantle. And we'll just sequence back to the present day again, that's Australia and New Zealand against America. (coughs) 
this spreading rate, that's the future spreading rate, so the, the, the uh, spread, current spreading rate in this East Pacific uh, rift zone is around about 8 to 10 mil, uh, centimetres per year. Now this is about double of uh, double the rate of uh, the Atlantic Ocean plus Indian Ocean, which is about one to two centimetres per year. So as I mentioned, here we have a situation where we have this enormous amount of new material, new volcanic material being uh, exposed right where this old material is supposed to be subducted. And that's basically why this mapping information is just not used in plate tectonics now.